Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I have some very interesting news that I'm going to be sharing with you. Thank you to uh, the viewer Tiffy who shared this with me. Um, I just recently talked about Fed now. For those of you who follow this channel, you probably saw my reporting on that. Uh, that's this new Federal Reserve or I call it government uh, money, um, you know, system uh, where they're trying to um, and, and some people say replace other um, platforms such as PayPal and Venmo or what have you. Uh, this is what some are saying. They are trying to uh, be the go between um, between your bank and any type of financial transaction that you want to uh, take care of or handle. And so um, this news comes at a very, very interesting time. Again, thank you to Tiffy for sharing this, but um, with this rollout of new Fed now, it's kind of interesting that the CEO of Cash App was found dead. He was killed, you all, in a way that seems very strange. In a way that seemed very strange. It just, you know, out of the blue type situation. Was he robbed? I mean, what, what happened? But um, I, agree, I agree with um, Tiffy, um, the viewer who shared this um, news with me. I actually saw that he had uh, passed away earlier. But this connection between the Fed now uh, that we just recently reported on sounds very, very interesting and fishy. Okay. Because they're trying to do this new thing uh, with financing, it, it really reminds me of Minority Report, how they want to have control of every aspect of your life and anyone who could possibly get in the way. It's like one of those things we have to keep our eyes peeled open for. This is strange. Very, very strange that this man would lose his life like this. Very, very strange. And Sutton, he's a CEO, right? A CEO of Cash App. Something that so many people use, right? So anyway, I'm going to share um, some more of the details with you um, as to what has happened uh, with this young man. <clears throat> Let's get into this. Uh, so it says, um, a child of dreams. Friends mourn. Cash App founder Bob Lee, uh, who was stabbed to death in San Francisco. The stabbing in San Francisco, Rinko Hills neighborhood ignited residents' anxiety about crimes and quality of life issues. Okay, it says San Francisco's tech community mourned the violent death of one of their own on Wednesday, calling Cash App founder Bob Lee a standout among Silicon Valley geniuses. Someone idolized as a brilliant thinker, talented hacker, and idealist who turned dreams into reality. Yet as the tributes poured in the fatal stabbing outside of a luxury condo, luxury condos in the Rinkin Hill neighborhood led to quick condemnation from high profile business leaders and public officials of what they perceived as unchecked crime and an assault in the city. Lee, 43, died at the hospital following uh, the 2.35 a.m. attack um, on the 300 block of Main Street where police responded to a report of a stabbing and found Lee unconscious on the ground with two stab wounds to the chest. Uh, they called medics to the scene and started aid before rushing him to the San Francisco General Hospital where he died. Hmm, that sounds very fishy. 2.35 a.m. Uh, logged as San Francisco's 13th homicide this year, Lee's killing is an affluent enclave drew more attention than the others. Uh, technology executives, including Elon Musk, viewed the incident as disturbing illustration of social disorder in a city known um, as an innovative hub, a sentiment that ricocheted on social media and forced local politicians to react uh, the tragedy came amid City Hall's struggle to keep businesses and workers in San Francisco despite vocal concerns about high property crime, homelessness, open drug dealing, and other quality of life issues. So right right away, um, it's, it's kind of hard to say 
um, what this is all about, right? But nothing have said that he was robbed or anything like that. So that's why it's fishy to me. So I feel like um, if there was some dirty dealings with this, I feel like they want to put all of this information out there about um, high property crime, homelessness, open drug dealing, uh, quality of life issues. I feel like they want to put all of that out there to try to steer um, your mind towards some type of scapegoat, perhaps. Um, and again, this is just speculation. Um, it says Robert Snyder, the residential super su services manager for the condominium building facing the scene of the stabbing, said he had watched security footage of the wounded victim wandering the streets bleeding. Uh, he's walking fast, but he doesn't wobble, uh, Schneider said, describing the security footage Wednesday. He is on the phone and trying to flag down passing cars, but no one stops. The video does not show the stabbing. Hmm, interesting. On Wednesday, dark red blood droplets uh, dappled the sidewalk in front of the condominium buildings, um, parking garage where cameras captured the scene. So, I'm sorry, again, that for me is tripping me out. So, you, ca you capture him walking. In a city like that, are there any other cameras that could have possibly captured what happened to him? You found him wobbling, but you didn't capture that. Okay, any other cameras? We're talking about a high-tech area. Think about this for a moment. It says, um, homicide inspectors are investigating the killing of Lee, uh, who after helping to build many companies, including Square, now Block, uh, became the chief product officer at cryptocurrency startup mobile coin in late 2021 no arrests have been announced um, as of wednesday afternoon and it was not known whether the killing was random or targeted uh, his father rick lee described his son um, as his best friend recalling the younger lee's open-mindedness and generosity uh, rick lee said he had moved in with his son in 2019 and the two bachelors had relocated to miami last year uh, he would never look down on anyone and adhere to a strict no-judgment philosophy, his father said in a Facebook post. Uh, Bobby worked harder than anyone and was the smartest person I have ever known. Uh, he will be missed by all of those who knew him. Hmm. So uh, there's a lot more to this article, and uh, I'm just going to keep it real. Um, this sounds very fishy to me. I don't need to get into... Um, <clears throat> other details about what loved ones and all of that had to say about the young man. But um, I do agree with the person who shared this with me that this, this is a very strange timing for this. Very strange timing because of the uh, proposed rollout of the Fed now. Um, that is interesting because they're essentially going to be a very similar, maybe not exact, but a very, very similar service. So it does make you wonder. Um, I'm curious, what do you all think? Um, anyone who wants to do some investigating on FedNow, um, we are very familiar with how the Cash App works, but FedNow, right? Could it be that anyway? Share your thoughts. What do you think about this? Could there be a possibility that trying to shake up other institutions will pave the way for what they want to roll out. Could it be? Share your thoughts below. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'm out.